so now, let's, let's stick with traditions, right? There are some traditions that the children of Israel had that they no longer have because the Lord discontinued us from our heritage. What the brother was just bringing out about the fringes on our garments, this is a heritage that you no longer keep. And this heritage belongs to the children of Israel. Oh, so what you don't realize is the Bible says that those parts of your heritage were going to be taken from you. Hey, how you doing, bro? What's going on, man? Hey, listen, go to Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick. Because there's something that's happened in our communities. Our people, we all want to march together, we all want to rally together. But what we don't know is we're actually the same people. We're just walking in different philosophies, and those philosophies keep us divided. That's right! You understand that, brother? Because you know, you know some Christians, right? You know some Muslims, right? Guess what? Those different things given to, us, given to us by our slave master has divided us. That's right. What you don't realize is your name has divided you. Your complexion has divided you. Your location has divided you as a people. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Oh and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee. So the Lord gave the children of Israel a heritage. What you don't know is that's who you are, brother. Oh, You're the children right. of Israel. You're God's chosen people. Oh, and right. God gave you a heritage. You know what a heritage is? Tell me something about a heritage. What are some things that come with the heritage? Let me know you understand. How about, yeah. What, I, I, li I like what that brother said. He said traditions. Give me some more. So now, let's, let's stick with traditions, right? There are some traditions that the children of Israel had that they no longer have because the Lord discontinued us from our heritage. What the brother was just bringing out about the fringes on our garments, this is a heritage that you no longer keep. And this heritage belongs to the children of Israel. Oh, so what you don't realize is the Bible says that those parts of your heritage were gonna be taken from you. You understand that so far? Read that again. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 Come on And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from that heritage So you're going to discontinue from your heritage But guess what? It's going to tell you how you're going to discontinue from God's given heritage Wait That I gave thee Come on And I will cause thee to serve thine enemy What you don't know, brother those who put you in slavery are not your friends. God says they're your enemies. And because of the servitude under your enemies, you have lost your language, you have lost your land, you have lost all confidence in yourself as being a man of God. Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from that heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee. How? And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. Hold on, let me show you something. Did these things actually happen to us? We were conquered, we were strung up, we were hung, we went into slavery on ships. Did these things really happen? So wait a minute, did you know that's in the Bible? Where? Tell me where. Did y'all go over that with him? You haven't, right? Okay. So the Lord says you're gonna lose your heritage at the hands of the enemies that he's gonna cause you to serve. Let's see about that servitude. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Read verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 15, come on. but it shall come to pass come on. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, one of those things we didn't hearken to, having fringes on our garment. Another thing is keeping the Sabbath day holy. Right. We could go on and on and on, marring of your beard, the bawling of your head. Right. All of these laws that we've broken is the reason why these what we're going to read has come upon us as a people and we have discontinued from our heritage. Oh, it's right. bottom line boils down to our rebellion against the word of God. Oh, right. Right. To observe, to do all his commandments. So now if you don't listen to and do all the commandments of God, what's going to happen? And the statutes which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Bible says, Curses are going to come upon us as a people and overtake us as a people. Verse 48. Give me verse 68 first. Verse 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into 
into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord is going to bring us into Egypt, which means bondage or slavery, with ships. How do we get to the side of the world as a people? During the, during the slave trade. How do we get here? Oh, you asking? Yeah. A boat? A boat. A boat is something that you can roll with your whole board. Is what we came on boats? What is, what's another word for? What's a larger version of a boat? Yeah. A ship? Okay. So read that again. And the Lord shall bring thief into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With ships. Wait a minute. So the Lord is talking to the children of Israel through Moses. He says, a way you're going to lose your heritage, lose your nationality, lose all understanding of who you are, is because you're going to serve your enemies. Those enemies that we serve brought us into slavery by way of what? Ships! But you said we did come here on ships, did you not? So but where are we reading this from? We're reading this from the Bible. Right? That's right. By the way, Rav, I speak unto thee. So why, by the way, Moses is going to describe all of these curses for us rebelling against the word of God is exactly how it's going to happen. Wait. Thou shall see it no more again, uh -huh. and there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. You ever heard of slave auction blocks? Were, they, were the men and women in the auction blocks being sold? So, we, so when we got off slave ships, one of the things we were not able to do was do whatever we wanted to do. We were sold right. unto our enemies. Right. Do you agree? But where are we reading this from? From the Bible. This is a prophecy that God gave Moses to give to the children of Israel thousands of years ago. So history confirms prophecy. Right. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen. For slave men. And bondwomen. And slave men. Women. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man will be able to redeem you. Verse 48 now. Verse 48. Bring it Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. When you got off those ships, you didn't have the option of going to buy a nice home. Right. Going to buy a piece of land. Going to buy some livestock. Your only option was to serve those enemies that had you on those slave ships. That's right. That was your only option, which is no option at all. Really? Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Who did this? Which the Lord shall sin against thee. I want you to picture this in your mind. A slave ship holds about 300 brothers and sisters, right? The crew is only about 15 while uh, so-called white men, right? Are you telling me that 300 of our people couldn't overthrow 15 crew members? We could, right? And what you don't know is the reason why we didn't do it or couldn't do it is because God sent them against us. Hey, hey. This is an act of God. Because of what? Our rebellion against the one true God. Right. Read it again. Therefore shalt thou, thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. So God sent these enemies against us. God said, put them on slave ships. God says, put shackles around their necks. Right. God says, give their sons and daughters to another people. God right. says, you're going to marry a woman, but another man is going to take her away from right. her. Right. So why, why are we in these conditions? Why did we go through this? It's because we do not want to serve the one true God. That's right. Hey. In hunger. So when you're hungry, you have to go to the people who had you on slave ships to get something to eat. Give you an example. What's the what's the supermarkets over here? Publix, Kroger, Piggly Wiggly, Walmart. Do our people own any of those? So we have to go to those that had us on slave ships in order to get food. Really? And in thirst. And in thirst. Do we own Deer Park, that water you just drank? We got to go to those who had us on slave ships, right? right. Really? And in nakedness. In nakedness. We don't own the textiles that make our clothing. No. I want you to picture this, brother. Did we not pick cotton for hundreds of years? Now, your pants probably made out of cotton, right? So why is it that the workers don't own the factory? Why don't the workers own the cotton fields now? But we picked cotton for hundreds of years, but we don't own the daggone cotton. Okay. Something has got to be wrong with that. Read that again. And in nakedness, uh -huh. and in want of all things. So when you want a driver's license, do you go to your homeboy around the corner? You gotta go to those that had your slave ships, right? Right. How about, you have any children? You have children. So when you got the birth certificate, did you create one yourself or did you have to go to those who had you on slave ships to get your child, that's your child, yeah. 
you name the child. No, you actually give the child a name and they have to tell you it's okay to put it on the birth certificate. That's right. I'm trying, to I'm trying to show you what God said was going to happen to us for disobeying his commandments, bro. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So he means a man is going to put a yoke of iron upon your neck. A yoke of iron are shackles, chains, forms of bondage around your neck. Did this happen to the Chinese man? Did it happen to the Arab man? No, it happened to us, the sons and daughters of the living God. For our rebellion against the one true God. That's who it happened to. Read that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. How long are we going to have that yoke of iron? Until he has destroyed thee. So we're so destroyed that we now call ourselves black. We now call ourselves African American. We now, say again. Hey, listen, you got a flyer? All right, our information's on the back. Make sure you read it, bro. Read it, man. All right, because you if you leave here knowing anything, is that you're an Israelite and you must keep God's commandments. All right, all right. All right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.